everybody, welcome back to Diode Press, I'm Graham. So in this week's video, we're gonna take a photopolymer plate and we're gonna make this bison print. So a few weeks ago, I made a print of David Bowie and I'll put a link in the description box down below for that. And so this video is a similar process. We're gonna be using another photopolymer plate. And so in that video, I went into some detail about how these are made. And so the image I used for this print, it was actually a lithograph that I printed a couple years ago. And this was drawn on a litho stone and, you know, printed on this nice Japanese paper. And so I scanned in this image and then edited a bit of it and made it kind of more suitable for a, a polymer plate. So make sure to check out the description box to links to everything. I have a blog post with a little bit more detail and materials and things like that. And let's jump right into the video. My first step is going to be to tape down the photopolymer plate. It has a self-adhesive backing, which I have stuck to a piece of mat board. And then I'm gonna just adhere that whole thing to my press bed. And you can see the small registration mark on the blue tape on the bottom. And that's what I use to line up my paper. And now on these pieces of paper that I'm gonna print on, I'm also marking the center line. Now before I print, I'm just gonna roll out a slab of Portland Intense Black, which is an oil-based printmaking ink. And finally, before I start printing, I'm gonna paint the paper first with this Inca Gold and it's like a really fast drawing metal gloss paint and it's a copper color. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of water to it and then using a paper towel to, to make a nice pattern across the paper. And just trying to make sure I get even coverage across the whole sheet. Originally I thought I was gonna use this to print with, but it's so fast drawing that it, it dries on the brayer before you can even roll out a slab. And now I can use my brayer and go ahead and roll out the black ink onto my photopolymer plate. And you can kind of see the remnants of when I tried to use the copper paint on this plate. Now I'm going to line up my paper onto my registration marks and go ahead and run the print. And here's the plate printed onto the copper paper. So printing the bison was just the first part of the project. So I'm going to mount the paper onto this 3x6 wood panel. But before I mount the artwork, I want to go ahead and paint the panel black on all the edges. But I'm going to tape off the front of it, just so when I glue it down, I don't have any issues with the paint or the glue or anything like that. It'd probably be fine, but I just don't want to risk it. So I took it outside and gave it a few coats with the black spray paint, and then let it dry. Now I can go ahead and peel off the blue tape. I'm going to mark a couple lines on the back of the print, just so I know where to line up the block when I go to glue it down. I really like using this matte medium to glue prints to these wood panels. It's really easy to use and it works great. So back to the blue painter's tape, I'm going to go ahead and mask off the edges now so I can put the matte medium and adhere my print to it and not mess up that nice clear finish I have on the sides. Now I add some matte medium onto the wood panel and also some onto the back of the print and just use a brush to smooth it out. You don't have a lot of maneuvering time when you put the panel onto the print, so you really need to try to line it up right the first time. Now I can flip it over and then I put a piece of paper to protect the artwork, and then I'm using a small smooth piece of wood and I'm just burnishing the, the print onto the wood to make sure all the air bubbles are out. I'm just working from one side and pushing all the air bubbles out that might be between the wood and the print. And then I can put some weights on top and let it sit overnight to fully dry. And then coming in on the home stretch, I can cut off the extra paper that I had extending past the wood panel. Now I can go ahead and clean up the edging with a little bit more of the copper paint, just to hide that exposed white paper edge. The final part of this project is going to be to coat the whole thing with a nice layer of epoxy. So I have a whole separate video about how to do epoxy coating on a piece of artwork, so I'll link that down in the description box. But this is a really easy to use two-part epoxy resin. And it's safe for artwork and there's no fumes or anything like that. Put a nice layer across the whole piece of art. And then I also coated the sides of it to, you know, make the whole thing look really finished. And then to get rid of any bubbles in the epoxy, I'm just using one of those wand lighters. And when you run it across the epoxy, it just pops all the bubbles and gives you a crystal clear finish. And I also taped the bottom of the piece, so that way all the drips and bumps I can just peel off with that tape, and I get a nice clean edge on the back so it sits flush against the wall. And so I was really happy with how the epoxy came out. It was like crystal clear, you can see a reflection in the artwork. And overall I'm just really happy with how this project turned out. And I'm looking forward to using this copper paint on some new projects. 
All right, so let me know what you think down in the comment box or if you have any questions. And make sure to check out all the links I have in the description box. And if you want to pick up one of these in the shop. And I'll be back soon with a new one. Thanks. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page, where I post behind the scenes photos as well as other patron rewards. Thanks!